The X Strictly fave has been slammed by fans over an insensitive tweet they are branding pro Putin. Former BBC Strictly come dancing star Christina Rihanoff has come under fire from social media users. The X Strictly fave has been slammed by fans over an insensitive tweet they are branding pro Putin. Christina, aged 44, from Russia, posted a snap of a cartoon criticizing Western leaders. She wrote, don't even have to say anything, pure genius. The cartoon showed mock-ups of Boris Johnson, Joe Biden and Justin Trudeau with blood on their hands. A speech bubble reads, Russia man bad. They are standing on a pile of dead bodies. Twitter user Ruth Elms shot back, wow you are massively Russian in this statement. Ukraine are not profiting. Ukraine and Russia are not one country. If Russia lay down weapons, war is over but if lay down weapons, they lose. Russia started this. You have a public platform. You literally can help. If you don't like democracy then you can always go back home where the people are free to say what they like, Darren Morgan said. Eve said, my child is booked on to one of your upcoming workshops. But your previous tweets referencing the invasion but not condemning the actions of the Russian government make me deeply uncomfortable. In a statement which she posted on social media, Christina wrote, I made fun of Eurovision tweet by Sky. I did think there was far more important information on that day than Eurovision. This is in any form says I was supporting what's happening at the moment between Russia-Ukraine. It's absolutely devastating for someone like me who's granddad from Ukraine and I gave Ukrainian name to my daughter, Milena. Christina's statement continued, my best friend is also from Ukraine. I grew up with knowledge that we were one nation and one country. I'm not into politics and hate politicians because they all lie. Seeing the news is breaking my heart as I have Russian friends who live in Ukraine and vice versa. The awful thing is that there is casualties on both sides and on both sides mums dads will cry for their lost relatives. The point is that this shouldn't ever taken place, never should have happened. The country leaders should have found the way a long time ago to sort this peacefully but they didn't. BCS war is a profitable business and someone unfortunately making profit on this. I'm not supporting Putin, war, invasion, lost lives and politics. I hate it as much as a human being possibly can. If I offended anyone it wasn't my intention and I'm deeply sorry.